more than 10 years. I've been planning to make this video. The Dumping Ground 2013, 2023. <laughs> oh, 10 amazing, beautiful years. They just dropped. Oh, I recently was the last episode of the season finale. So, what we do we usually do? We watch the first episode. Then some important parts and the season finale. But Dumping Ground has 10 seasons <laughs> with at least 20 episodes in it. I will try to cover each season, the important stuff. If I miss anything, let us all know in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. After Tracy Beaker returns, when they announced the Dumping Ground, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna watch this shit without Tracy. There's no way! You can't take the main character out of the franchise. <laughs> But the rest of the characters, my Gina T is still here! So, I gave it a chance and I made the right choice. <laughs> so, the lesson of today, never judge a book by its cover. Should we just end the video here? <laughs> so, The Dumb Ground Season 1, Series 1. Home Alone, that's a nice title. <laughs> I love the Home Alone movies, Christmas classic. <laughs> How do they start? <laughs> Argument. No, no, you are not going to a party thrown by a year twelve boy. Everyone um, else is. Oh, including his parents. Yes. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, Gina. Yeah, well, Teenagers. Let me come. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. Oh, vacation. No music. No kitchen experiments. And. Don't wind up the relief care worker, please. <laughs> As if we would do something like that. The one thing that I uh, think about, the last episode of Tracy Beaker, we got a new uh, caretaker. But she's not here now, so... What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I like this clothing, it's from the, the day at the beach. Oh, my favorite episode! Hey! Bye! Anyone come to see me off? <laughs> I'm busy. No, I'm not talking to you anyway, because you're going away for two weeks. Hey, okay, but I'm here to help you. Yeah, but Mike's better than you, are <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> Gus has... <laughs> oh, Gus. You're all one of a kind. Forget. <laughs> uh, Rick's don't disappoint. I it's know, I know. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going on holiday. You are my holiday. Looking for sun rays. You can't hate on KSI music. It's a banger. Summer is over. It's my favorite on my horse. <laughs> it must be gone. Oh shit, I, ju I just remember now, clock this episode. It's a crazy pilot! <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. No, maybe love level. Come on, Johnny. There you go. <laughs> What's in this thing anyway? What now? <laughs> Grenades! I could have blown myself up! I didn't know. <laughs> no, I've never seen one before. Put it back. Harry! Yeah, no, Harry! No! That's what the first one said, though. What does this bit do? Oh. Hey, Harry, what are you doing? Gina! <laughs> Gina! Gina! Oh, no! Oh, my! <laughs> so, of course, Gina's booty. No, 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 no. Gina! How can you start at this as the first episode? It's a kids show! <laughs> Grenades blowing shit up. <laughs> You're just gonna love it. That's why you never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> so the kids finds the grenade in the backyard. They call the military. Gina is of course hurt. She goes to the ambulance. So the oldest kids, Faith and Electra, need to take care. And Gus sneaks once in his pocket. Gus, what are you planning? Gus? <laughs> How long for? Until Gina gets back. That could be days. That means no curfew for the party. No rules! Great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this can't end well. Mike and Gina is gone, so of course, chaos. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! Don't do it! Yes! <laughs> you already take this shit off! He's got a grenade. Gus! Easy. Easy, Gus. No talking! <laughs> There's too much noise. Nothing makes sense. I want it to stop. It stopped. Everything's wrong without Mike and Gina. Gus? Go away! 
No, it's been a bit crazy today. I think the grenades should have exploded by now. <laughs> What's the timer? Two minutes. Oh. Entry house! Not the basement! False alarm. False alarm. Why isn't it gone off? It must be a dud. I'll go and see. No, 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 don't do it, <laughs> Tyler. Oh, guess. No. Oh. So the kids are now afraid from the basement. Ghost hunting! <laughs> My sandals is ready. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit nervous. I think we're gonna save the basement for the last. I don't remember how this goes, actually. Don't be a hero! Can you see it? Oh, it's still. What's it look like? A grenade? <laughs> that might explode any minute. Go outside! What the f are you doing in the house, still? So what do we do now? The bomb squad comes again. <laughs> What's happening? Shut up! Where is it? It's in the cellar. Do you get that? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir! What are they doing? I thought you were just gonna come and take it away like you did this morning. The pins were in those grenades. You're blowing it up! What? In the house! Empty house! Got grenades! Right in the hole! Four! Okay, it wasn't that big damage, okay. That's disappointing. <laughs> Is that it? It is what it is. Oh. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so everything has come now. No harm and done. It's a oh. So, what happens next? You have no fighting, no loud noise or mess. Later. Oh, nice watch, guys. Ivan, run your bath. Thank you. <laughs> In some plain pajamas. <laughs> Dressing gown. Mm. Oh! I really hope they're gonna say it because every time somewhere in the Tracy Beaker returns or the Dumping Ground to have this, uh, what did his name was again? Dressing gown. D Dressing gown. <laughs> Something to read. <laughs> God. <laughs> My hair! I'm <laughs> Such a good pilot. Nina comes to back, Mike comes back. And especially thing in this season, episode 5, Gus. What will Gus want? The last episode of Gus. What a character. <laughs> So Gus finally gets some foster parents. You all getting fostered? No, Mike and my social worker think I should. How come they chose you? Because my dad moved to Germany. I'll have them if you don't want them. The system doesn't work like that. Go on, just to help a mate. You're not my mate. <laughs> and this episode is the highest rating in the whole franchise. So I think this is a really good ending for Gus. He said everything needs to be perfect. And this episode is the best one. Almost 10 score perfect. So that's really nice. <laughs> so the last episode. Careful. Hi, you're Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> so we move on to series two. Kick off. So series two starts one year after. And they f destroy entry house. <laughs> so they have now moved on to Austin Rich because in real life they demolish the entry house location. I finish that. <laughs> oh, so many memories. So now, as the Aston Ridge, the location we all know from today's series. Another thing, Gina hasn't come back, so it's only Mike left. And with the new caretaker, the new kid, Bailey, arrives. Barcelona. It's a run, it's a. <laughs> and Bailey takes care of it. Gotcha. <laughs> I had it covered. Are you sure about that? Hey, giving you a bit of a workout, was he? <laughs> he needed exercise. Hey, you must be barely. <laughs> you look like you need a bit of a workout yourself. Oh, that's a violation! That one there was a violation, personally, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we meet Mei Li for the first time. Let's move on to series 3. Hey, Ryan! <laughs> I really don't like this character. <laughs> Grand Death DG. <laughs> I saw what you did it. <laughs> Lewis, and I play Ryan. 
<laughs> he's quite mischievous, make a good impression at first. And <laughs> he's really nice to everyone today. No, that's Cap! You're not nice to anyone! Especially the tea! What the f do you think you are? Don't mess with tea! Oh! <laughs> Way. Oh! <laughs> So, Ryan is the most villain character in the whole franchise. <laughs> I really don't like him. What? Oh, it's good writing, mm, uh, script, everything, direct, everything like that. But I don't, just don't like the character. <laughs> Let's come back to Ryan. Oh, I forgot to say, we also meet Floss in the early season. In season 3, we also meet the twins, Lily and Tony. My name's Sally and I play Tony. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well, so our characters cute. are quite sneaky because I like to sort of spy on them. <laughs> Go away, Ryan! <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> they are my new favorite characters of the tea. <laughs> so in series four, Ryan, the piece of on Mike, has set up him. What are you doing? So Mike is going to the government to see if he can stay working at the dumping ground. Why is this quiet? Shh. Shut the fuck up! Who do you think you are? So they're all trying to rescue him. Ryan finally comes to oh, term. Sounds amazing. So what makes you think you can replace him? <laughs> so they rescue Mike. Please, I, I'm begging you. <laughs> so Mike Stop. can still work. Yeah. In the dumping ground. <laughs> oh, this Ryan character. <laughs> There's more trouble coming. And the ending season four is the final we see Carmen and T. <laughs> and shove him in your bowl. Oh. Carmen, brother, sweet and happy. <laughs> Such an emotional episode. <laughs> I got some tears. <laughs> so series five, we got a lot of the new characters, and one of those is Chloe, Ryan's sister. I could push you if you want. <laughs> you can shove in the back if you want. Hello, you must be Chloe. And of course, Ryan is behind this. Or not behind this, but we also meet Candy Rose, the pink! <laughs> I want to be my own person. Make more of a statement. Find myself. Care too much about what other people think. Chloe's new best friend! I got something to say here. I don't like to criticize too much to give critic, but I still love the show, so... <laughs> I don't like how they try to replace the old characters with the new. So, Candy Rose, the pink one, is trying to replace Carmen. T is trying to play Sapphire with this old thing shit. And now when T is gone, they bring Shona. She's the new artist one. Do you know what it is? <sighs> so I just don't like how they... <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> we also got the twins last time. He's waiting for the right person to see a child they think might want to go and live with them. There's always some new faces. And some older ones. Always hopeful, it won't take long, but sometimes it does. So it's just a matter of waiting for their happy ending. That's a good episode. They try to trick. You two really are so alike. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe I'm just used to them. Bye then. Nice meeting you. Uh, oh, don't you think it'd be nice if your sister came down as well? Yes, yeah. again. Ah, uh, there you are, Billy. Oh, not you as well. This is Tony. She just came to say goodbye. Uh, no. This is Billy. <laughs> and not the last time we see them. <laughs> so the season finale, series 5. So the neighbors between the Aston Ridge run to the coffin closed down. So the government comes, but we got T, Frank, and later coming back uh, to save the dumping ground <laughs> and Johnny. So they save the dumping ground safe and sound. My new favorite character, it's Jody. <laughs> oh, the relationship with Tyler. <laughs> so the last two episodes, the season finale, is Maylee is pregnant and Mike is having a wedding. And we got Tracy making me turn it off. You're a mom. <laughs> Mommy, me, baby. <laughs> Tracy, I didn't think you were coming. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm Mike's best man. So, where is he? <laughs> oh, to Mike's wedding. Bam! It doesn't go because of this Ryan character. <laughs> Why do you over have to destroy everything? So Ryan has destroyed the wedding cake, running away. Mike follows after. So Tracy finally arrives and they're trying to fix things up. And Chloe shows a picture of her brother who's run away. And Tracy re recognized it's that kid she bumped earlier at the train station. <laughs> Oh, bus. So she goes back and find Mike and find Ryan. Oh, eh, go away. <laughs> so they hurry up back to the wedding. Hold on. Who are these? 
So the new characters, she's... Oh, jeez! <laughs> Oh, Frank and Liam, gang. <laughs> no entry. Billy, Tony, T, Liam, Frank, Lily, and Bailey returns. Really nice to see. Mike's finally get engaged. Finally get married. <laughs> oh. Such a good episode. It's such an emotional. <laughs> So series seven, uh, lucky number seven. Why are you this leaving? <laughs> <laughs> and we finally know <laughs> why he's been all this time this way. It's his mother. Home, sweet home. Coming back to you. Tell you what, take a good look out of that window. I'm pretty sure that'll jog your memory. You were in here with Chloe. Your word against mine. But that ain't an excuse. You still have done so much damage. <laughs> so in series seven, we meet my new favorite character, Beck. <laughs> That's an underrated character. Is she here? Uh, yeah. It's Rebecca, right? Mm, she prefers Beck. So Beck's story. His mom has been in an accident. She goes to live with her grandma. Oh, mm, grandmas. <laughs> but she's mean one. Your mum spent ages making that. Can I see if it fit? Do your chores. If they're all done to my satisfaction, then yes. Aren't you gonna wish me happy birthday? Oh, I really love Becky. <laughs> Is that where it happened? Oh. They said it was her fault, but it wasn't. Oh. The other driver took the turn too fast. They were the one that was out of control. Oh, the this story. Oh, that's Are emotional. Just trying to avoid them. <laughs> it's because of them that she died, and because of them that I. You must miss her. So she comes to the asteroid to dumping ground, and she doesn't want to be friends with anyone else. <laughs> she wants to listen to some tunes. <laughs> I haven't really met her yet, but she seems nice. Oh, Beck, I love this character. My new favorite. So, the end of series 7, we got this free good episode. Mike's last time. Oh. <laughs> so, Mike goes through a trip in Scotland. Uh, Irish Mater. Uh, top of the morning, I'm uh, Irish. Okay. <laughs> so, it turns out he has a twin brother. Hmm? <laughs> You're twins. How could you not be? Switcheroo! Reunite with his mother as well, or? See, look, there's no one there. Yeah. They call me Mike. I forgot to say, I forgot to ask, how do you film Mike and his twin brother? It's just one person, Connor. But how do you film it? <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> Mike can't decide with, to be with the family or work because the work is also family. <laughs> so the last episode, the last dance is Mike last time. He's leaving in dumping ground. My, my, my. Oh. Don't you all look just fantastic? <laughs> oh, I'm not. Oh, what a great night it's <laughs> been. So I've gathered you here because there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Of all the young people I've helped over the years, oh. help keep safe, send out to the world, there was always one kid, one care kid, that I couldn't quite fix. Tracy. <laughs> His name is Michael Milligan. I could never help him. Until now. Oh. So I hope you all understand when I tell you that. It's finally his turn. <laughs> his turn to leave the dumping ground. What? <laughs> Deep down. All I want is what you want, what every care kid wants. A family. <laughs> I just want to go home. Oh. To my mom. <laughs> oh, oh, 
It's such an emotional. Go right now to your mom. Or give a hug. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. Bye bye. Huh? Happy. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hug. <laughs> then you should go. Oh, Rick! 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 A nice hair. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'll arrange cover just as soon as. The Maria got it. That tastes like promotion. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh. Such a good character from the beginning. It's been such a journey <laughs> from the start. I need to see the what the story of Tracy Beetle. Oh. <laughs> You're all gonna leave someday. <laughs> this is just a bit earlier than planned. That's all. <laughs> Every single one of us. Always have the DG. <laughs> it's not a building. It's an oh. idea. <laughs> we are all lost boys when we arrive at the dungeon world. What about the sexes? What about girls? <laughs> well, we are found again. Oh. There's an old Irish blessing. Oh, Irish. May the wind always be at your back. Wind, okay. And may the sun always shine warm upon your face. Sunglasses! <laughs> oh. <laughs> One last time. Mike. <laughs> oh, bye, Mike. Oh, thank you so much for childhood. <laughs> Such a good episode. Oh, my. <laughs> Mike Milligan. <laughs> Michael Milligan. Let's be honest here. Mike leaving. Am I gonna still watch this? <laughs> Am I still gonna love the show? And then the answer is yes. <laughs> Series 8, Melee is now with the caretaker, new guy Scott. I don't care so much about him. <laughs> so Jody Beck is the most reason why I still watch this. <laughs> so Jody and Tyler, the relationship is now open. But Tyler's leave to St. Louisia. So the relationship is now not over. They are still together, but now far, far away. <laughs> and Beck! Story. You just got more crazy or what? The new kid arrives, Ruby, and she's mom is in jail because she's the one who was in accident for killing Big's mom. What? How did they come up with this? <laughs> so Big finds out and <laughs> there she is. Get up. Beck. You How did they come up with this? She made Ruby call me. You have to send her back to prison. Oh. No, I, I didn't. I'm Lily. I'm Ruby's care worker. Why are you talking to her? Call the police. Come down, Bec. No. Why are you doing this? Look, Ruby should never have been placed with you. What are you talking about? <laughs> My mum was in the other car. The one that you crashed into. <gasps> I am so sorry. The judge said four years. I know. And you're out in two. You took my mum away forever. Oh, such a sad story! <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh, Riders. But Beck finally forgives. Oh. <laughs> Moves on. But she's still a little bit grumpy. <laughs> she's a grumpy character. <laughs> and that's why I like her. <laughs> my favorite one in the latest series. You see that? Grumpy. <laughs> How old is she? So I don't catch a cage. <laughs> oh, she's, she's around the same age as me! She's just trying to train! Oh, I'm too late. <laughs> Happy late birthday, Eva. You know, maybe under all that Grinch stuff, maybe she's just a bit sad and lonely. <laughs> maybe she was just born like that. You know, that's why she ended up here, and that's why she'll never change. You don't know the whole truth! 
Don't stone. tell Paul it's stone. No, no, she doesn't. Oh. Beck, have you ever been to Santa's Grotto? What are you on about? <laughs> you know, it's the most amazing place, full of light and happiness. And of course, the big man himself. Santa it's my Santa. absolute favorite place in the whole world. Why are you telling me this? Because <laughs> it might make you feel more Christmassy <laughs> if you went to one. Yeah, well, you shouldn't believe in all that rubbish. Rubbish! <laughs> but don't worry, that kid, I don't know the name, sorry, <laughs> runs away, but she finds him and be friends. And she's. She's really kind hot. You don't know the full story of Beck. <laughs> Rebecca Hyde. Oh. <laughs> Serious now, we're getting close to the end. A lot of Jody episodes. Jody's one, still one of my favorites. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Uh, 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 ballet two person? <laughs> Stay tuned for ballet video coming soon. <laughs> they dance us? <laughs> so in series 8 was the last time we saw Beck. So the few episodes in series 9, Beck comes back because of Ruby, the enemy, not the enemy, but <laughs> goes to the farm to see where Beck is. Because Beck is now living with her aunt. But the aunt is sick and the grandma is coming back! Not the grandma! The evil grandma! And Ruby sees a bed outside. I'm a bit busy, so uh, oh. friends, exactly. Rebecca! You'll be out in the again. Coming and don't back. stop answering back. Not you, Grandma! Fuck you! You had your granddaughter sleeping in a barn. Oh. If you walk out of here, Rebecca, you are never coming back! No worries, oh, mate. Bye, Gran. <laughs> Bye! So, Beck is back! Let's go! <laughs> oh, such a good story! So, in series 9, we got the characters. I can't cover everyone. <laughs> But the bird, he's finding a treasure that he wants to keep. Money. Freeman, we have to go to the police. <laughs> <laughs> he's, now. he's a runner. He's go off. <laughs> oh, Beck. I think I have a celebrity crush on Beck, Eva Porto. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. If you were alone, you find money in the woods. How many of you would keep it? Hmm? <laughs> the right thing to do is go to the police. As this episode, good message and leave the money back. But this is still 20 grand, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. So the season finale, series 9, is a banger. Jody's evil brother has died. So she goes to the funeral. She still loves Kingsley in her heart, even though he was a dickhead. By the way, Kingsley is a. Is that a real name? That's, that's a cool name, Kingsley. <laughs> and of course, the season finale is also about Beck! <laughs> <gasps> you all feeling good? Yep. Thank you, Sid. Why are you wearing that? Fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. Exactly. So. What's it got to do with you? You're always sticking your nose in. I was just asking. All right, you two, knock it off. Hey, yeah, come on, let's go. That is you two. I think I Sid might let go. Comes out. Oh. There. I don't care what anyone thinks. That's good, Beck! Why keep it a secret then? <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> oh, wait. That's mean I lost my chance, okay? <laughs> Beck comes out. Oh, such a good message. Oh. <laughs> this is the last time we see Beck. Such a good character. <laughs> yeah. oh, one of my last favorites. Mm. <laughs> and Jody. Is everything alright? Kingsley's dead. Oh. Okay, Kingsley, but don't knock me in. Oh, come on, you're not too much better. Kingsley! Oh. Oh. Saying goodbye. We thought, or I thought, that was the last time we we're gonna see Jodie as well. And Series 10 comes, and Jodie returns! <laughs> goodbye, DG. What? <laughs> I know a lot of people. It's not happy about that because it was the perfect ending. But in series 10, there's a lot of new characters, which means a lot of, new, a lot of the OG's viewers are not gonna be so fond of So I think it was a good choice to bring Jody back so that a lot of the viewers stays to watch. <laughs> and of course, more Jody. I don't mind. <laughs> and in episode 10, the last time we see Mei Li and Candy Rose. Oh, Candy Rose story. It's a crazy one. <laughs> Hi there. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Sorry. Do you know a Courtney? Family are looking for her. 
This was taken some years back. She's hiding from her family, protected in that in uh, in died then too. She's living on a false name. She's real name is not Kenny Rose. She doesn't like pink even. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have been asking about Courtney. You didn't know Sabrina. I've ruined everything for you. My my family's the one's blame. Not quite as clever as you thought you were. What's going on? I'm afraid you've been had. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay, we'll take you on to your new home, but the police will follow one just as a precaution. It's a really good episode. <laughs> and now when Maylee's gone, the new caretakers. So a lot of new characters. New hellos. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> but what, what happened to Scott? And the new guy kind of look like Ryan. <laughs> I don't like Ryan. <laughs> so a lot of new characters. So big changes are coming to you with new hellos. <laughs> Come and say hello to your new housemate. Welcome to the DJ. Sad goodbyes. I'm gonna miss Five extra. <laughs> and all. Oh. So my new favorite character is Sabina. <laughs> Didn't they get washed yesterday? Yeah. I fell over a. You're not scared. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be the end of Ashton Ridge. <laughs> the rest of the group, uh, I need to grow to like them. <laughs> Before we talk about the season finale, this is also Floss last time. It was a really good episode. I really like the character sometimes. <laughs> she goes to the cafe and she needs the all oh, <laughs> the twins. <Lil. laughs> oh, such a good episode. The twins, oh, they're all grown up now. And this brings us to the season finale, the end of the dumping ground. Serious the end. end of Ashton Ridge. It ends with a cliffhanger. <laughs> what? It's all burned up. Ashton Ridge. What? You can't end it there. <laughs> oh, but in some way, I kind of like the cliffhanger ending. <laughs> the whole Ashton Ridge is burning up. <laughs> kind of dark ending. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the ending <laughs> of the dumping ground. I don't know. It's not confirmed yet, I believe, if we will get a series 11. And if you do, I need to do this video again. <laughs> what a childhood. Oh, so many memories. <laughs> really fun to watch back. Bring so many memories back. Such a nostalgia. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope it brings back some memories for you. I really enjoyed this one. Oh, do you know if they will do a series 11? I can't find anything confirming official yet. If they do, I will return and make a video about it. <laughs> and I will of course do the story of Tracy Baker. I think there's a movie and the new series Tracy Baker Girls or something. I, I, I will do all of it. I will cover all of it. Calm down! I have a lot of shows to do! <laughs> Oh, the dumping ground franchise. I don't know if this video is good because I it's not the typical one. It's just over, all over the place. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and on that note, I'll see you all the next time. Goodbye. <laughs>